Hello everybody, it's Philippe de Browse here. And a huge warm welcome to my channel. I help people get better at dance. And I specialize in West Coast swing and solo dance with influences in styles like ballet, contemporary, hip hop, house, dance hall, and more. And I help people and inspire people in dance. And I did a West Coast swing class today with We Dance Kush Guys, ran by my good friend Christelle. So thank you very much for having me. She's on the camera now. And we, I, this is a little recap video for the, her class, which she's gonna send to them, but we're gonna put it on the channel as well. So we did the very beginners class in West Coast swing. So just to quickly recap, we looked at uh, the rhythm of West Coast swing. So we had leaders starting with the left foot and follows with the right foot. And we had our walk, walk, triple step, triple step. We spoke about also, depending on the song, dance to it, groove to it, you wanna relax your head, move that body, whatever you feel the, the music is doing. We don't tend to dance down here, so have the hands higher up, walk, triple step. I'll show you on the side, follow it, other way around obviously, we walk, walk, triple step, triple step. We spoke about footwork is important, but for me, more important is the lead and follow aspect, the connection, the energy from the leader leading and the follow responding to that coming from A to B, uh, or coming from A with a push and back to A. So we spoke about that. And then we did the left side pass. So for the leaders, this is the way I taught it, was when I make a V shape on the ground. So I'm going back, I go diagonally back on one. Now I'm making that V shape for two, three and four back onto the slot, and then five and six from this side. It's a walk, walk, triple step, triple step. We spoke about the wonderful third position of the feet rather than being here. We start and finish here. The five and six is known as the anchor step and I'm going here on five and six. Followers, for you, we went like this. So I went forwards on one, two. Now I start to turn towards my leader. Then I'm gonna do a, a triple step crossing in front for three and four and then five and a six from this side, one, two, slowly coming around. So I'm not going quickly, I'm going three and four, five and six in the anchor position. That was our left side pass, very nice. And then we had the right side pass or an underarm turn. We spoke about the leaders, imagine you're looking at your watch and then your footwork, how I like to do it, there are other ways of doing it, is backwards on the left to come forwards on the right. So I'm looking at the watch and I'm also in this contra body position What's contra body, I hear you ask. Wow, the feet are going one way, the body's going the other way for two. Then I'm gonna slowly come around the corner. Imagine there's a light here. I'm going three and four, nice and slowly. I'm not going three and four. So nice and slowly, so I'm here on two, three and four, and then the anchor step for five and six. Followers, you're going, I'll show you from this side actually. So I'm open to the camera. So followers, you're going forwards on one, to same footwork, you're just, your arm's coming up and the leader's gonna, by moving your arm, is gonna make you turn for two, three and four, five and six, and a one, two, three and four, five and six. And then the last thing we did very quickly was the sugar push. For the sugar push, leaders, we did this. I went backwards on one, sl sl smaller step on two, and even smaller on three extra information, I keep the heel up and my body pitch forward. So three and forwards on four. And then I have to bring this foot like this, the back foot as I go five and six, extra information there. So we're going a one, offering the hand, she, the follower picks it up between two and three for three and, and then laterally let go for five and six followers. For you, you're coming forwards on one. So you haven't got the other hand yet. So forwards on one, and then the other hand's being offered, so you go for it. And then you're gonna go for five and six, seven and eight. We didn't talk too much about the mechanics of the sugar push because it was the end of the class, but just a little bit more information here. You're going forwards on one, you're doing something called compression on two, so your body's coming forwards. Three, you wanna take another step, but you can't, but you are giving the, your weights towards the ball of your foot creating a, of what's known as compression energy. You're gonna wait for the leader to take that step forwards to lead you, foot like that, and then five and six. Let me do that with the correct footwork there. So it's one, two, three and four, five and a six. And that was 
our sugar push. Last thing, West Coast Swing, follower goes from A to B, or from A back to A. And also, followers, you own the slot, which is that track. Leaders, we tend to move out the way, let the follower pass, step back in again, or we stay and block our follower. I wish you all a wonderful day. And if you're interested, you're welcome to click on the subscribe button below on, on that bell icon that'll get you notified when videos are available. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and check out We Dance Kush Guys. They're on Instagram or on Facebook. And check out me as well, I'm on Instagram too. I wish you a wonderful day and don't forget to enjoy your dancing.